Hello YouTube, Ben here with another video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If this is the first time visiting this channel, I would like to encourage you to look around and I assure you, you will find something that will break your interest. If you are a regular visiting this channel, I want to say thank you very much for all your support. I really appreciate it. So in celebration of Halloween, I asked some of my friends from YouTube uh, to share with the viewers of this channel some of their memories and experience of Halloween and some of the scents that they relate to the Halloween season and I, I received many responses to that question and some of them are quite creative. So many of you are probably already familiar with uh, some of this channel, so check out what some of them have to say about it. Hey YouTube! Well, Ben Chavez asked me to come up with what the scariest fragrance is out there. And I came up with Elvira's um, line of perfume. She has three different kinds, actually four different kinds. One is called the zombie. One is called Vamp, of course, and one is called Black Roses. And the other one is called Sexy Witch. And you wouldn't believe what's in some of these. Cannabis, and if you don't know what that is, marijuana, and better known as hemp, and um, ylang ylang, which is an essential oil that I put in my diffusers uh, to help keep stress down, and um, tobacco. Tobacco. What a bizarre flavor, uh, fragrance. So let's go see if we can go find it. Hello? Hell? Can you tell me I can find some Elvira perfume? Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey guys, she says it's on aisle 13. Mm. So I found some spider potion. So I found moon and boo, I mean bod. I found wild spirit, but not the kind of spirit I'm looking for. I found possession, I mean obsession, but no Elvira. So I'm here at the 29th Street Mall in Boulder, and I'm going upstairs to Sephora to see if I can find this Elvira fragrance. Um, and I am so curious to find out what tobacco smells like. All right, Ben, when I was trying to find a, a scary fragrance, uh, I was trying to find the Elvira one. I found this other one that has tobacco and cocktail in it. So we all know that Colorado Martini needed the cocktail one. And it has this like, the tobacco is unprecedented. I mean, it just, it, kind of an after smell. It's different, but I actually like it. I just got back from Sephora and um, that perfume stuck in my nose, the scent. Um, it's like it's tobacco, but I, it's actually not bad. And it's uh, meant for men or women, depending on what you like. But it's actually, try it out. Go into a perfume store and see what you think. I would love to hear. So Ben, I'm sorry, I never could find the Elvira perfume, but I did find it online. So if you're looking for it yourself, you can find it online, or maybe you can find it in one of your stores in your area. But I wouldn't recommend it for women. I personally, as a lady, didn't really care for it as a woman's fragrance, but it would be pretty good for um, a male fragrance. So check it out. Hi, this is Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole Travel. Ben asked me to send you in a clip about my favorite Halloween fragrance. Please forgive my voice. I have been sick for the last week. I can't help it, but I need to film today because in two days I am leaving for Vienna. Well, Ben, I hunted and hunted to find the perfect Halloween fragrance for this video, but I couldn't find anything acceptable. So I have decided to make my own Halloween fragrance for you. To start, we're going to dump two cups of water into this large pot and let it boil. Next, we add in one stinky sock. This is my husband's, but preferably you should add in the hockey sock of a teenage boy, but this will do in a pinch. 
Next, we add in a sweaty gym t-shirt that's been left in its gym bag overnight. Next up is a half cup of kitty litter, but make sure you get it right from the box. Now, we don't want this fragrance to be too musky. Musky Halloween scents are so 2017. So we're gonna add in a bit of fruity scent by adding a half cup of moldy blueberries. And next, a touch of baby powder sweetness. We want an air of innocence inside of our malevolent Halloween scent. So of course, the next thing to add is a diaper. We'll let that mixture simmer a little bit, giving it a few occasional stirs. We want it to really thicken and sort of caramelize all the scents into one. Once it's thickened, don't forget to strain out all the lumps and debris so that you have a nice clear liquid. Then you can simply bottle it and you are ready to go. From down the rabbit hole travel and Benjamin Chavez, may I introduce to you Ode to Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hey guys, this is Steph with Labane, and I was recently asked what scents um, remind me of Halloween, um, or what, so what scents bring on the feeling of Halloween for me. Um, first and foremost, um, fall season, um, the, the biggest scent for me around the holidays of Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, is basically stuff like pumpkin scents or pumpkin pie spice or something like that. It just reminds me of the fall. It reminds me of Halloween. Um, but the thing that actually to me that triggers, and I know this is probably going to be weird, but the scent that kind of, and I don't know how to describe that, but candy corn always reminds me of Halloween. And I don't know why, I guess because um, a lot of the other candies that are put in your little bucket at Halloween is a lot of the same stuff, but candy corn is so different from the others, and the colors of the actual candy corn um, is just, to me, it's Halloween-y, you know, and that's remind, that's what reminds me of Halloween. Um, perfumes, I don't, I can't honestly think he asked me about colognes that may remind me of Halloween. I guess the one, and I don't even remember the name of it, but it's by Paris Hilton, and it smells like cotton candy almost. If I had to name a perfume, it would be that one. Um, essential oils that remind me of Halloween is just basically like uh, spicy note type things, kind of like, um, like, cinnamon or um, clove or something like that, that reminds me of Halloween. Um, Halloween to me, I don't really celebrate it anymore because my kids are adults now, but it just always brought on the feeling and kind of prepped you and got you ready. Um, you know, the candy corn and uh, stuff like that being around and getting everybody prepped and ready and excited about Halloween and getting out there. Um, so if I had to answer, that would be my answer. It would basically be the biggest one for me would be candy corn for Halloween. Um, and then next would come to get me prepped for everything else after and even during Halloween is pumpkin scents, spicy scents. So that's about it. Um, thank y'all so very much. Bye-bye. Hi guys, this is Nicole and Wayne. And we are with Sin City Soaps and Candles and I'm just coming today to talk about some of the fragrances that we use for Halloween and fall. Um, I do like a couple of things for Halloween and fall. I do um, fruity scents. Sweet and fruity, like this is a grape soda, um, and yeah, this this is another fruity scent. Uh, this one is also grape. <laughs> that one is candy, sweet candy. And then I and then what I like to do is um, these are both also sweet and fruity. 
um, they're both bath bombs. This one is um, poison pie, which is it's a little bit fruity, but it's also got a very fall like fragrance. Because um, the other thing I like to do besides fruity, the other thing I like to do besides fruity is um, is earthy. And so like this one, this one's like earthy and fruity. It's got some patchouli in it, but it you know it's offset with some fruity scents. This one is Witch's Brew, which is, uh, and that's Wasteland, it's like a zombie soap. And that one is very, very earthy. The other thing I like to do is like bakery scents and what have you. Um, this one is Autumn Woods, it's a very woodsy scent. And so, you know, and then we also make, I make a soap dish. This is a Halloween soap dish that we made. These are all, this is a resin soap dish and we made all of these by him. This is our vampire soap, and that one is fruity. Fruity. Most of these are fruity, and this one's poison pie. Uh, this one is a blueberry pumpkin patch, so another flu fruity one. This is also a soap. It is a cupcake soap. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a really great Halloween. Yep, yep. So, from Sin City Soaps and Candles, bye! See ya! Hey, Ben! It's Crafty Mommy 85 um, in this video we are talking about Halloween. Um, Halloween by far is probably my favorite holiday um, so I love pretty much everything having to do with Halloween um, but more specifically I love to do crafts with my family and my son. Um, I like to go to scary movies and haunted houses um, and I like to take my kids to the pumpkin patch and pick out a pumpkin um, trick-or-treating, all the little costumes, um, everything about Halloween is pretty much my favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, so I don't specifically know any perfumes or colognes that have to do with Halloween. Um, however, there are a lot of smells and scents that remind me of fall and Halloween in general. Um, like I love the smell of pumpkin, um, like pumpkin bread cooking in the oven. Um, I love the smell of the crisp leaves and fall air um, and for some reason I really <laughs> I like the smell of the smoke machines at haunted houses <laughs> um, so like I said everything about Halloween is I just my favorite thing to do and thank you Ben so much for inviting me to be in your video happy Halloween everyone I hope you have an awesome time bye hi guys my name is Leah also known as a Billy mama too Ben has asked me what fragrances I think of when it comes down to Halloween. So I thought about it and I really don't use fragrance perfumes or anything because I'm prone to getting migraines and headaches. So Ben, I'm asking you, can you let me know what type of perfumes or fragrances I could try that are softer in smell? Um, but other than that, like I think of Apple Crisp when it comes down to Halloween. I don't know why Apple Crisp because I really don't even do Apple Crisp. But I remember like my mother-in-law, my mom, and like just family members always making Apple Crisp around Halloween. I also like I think of bonfires, like making s'mores and like having bonfires and you know, raking up leaves. I'm an outdoors person, guys, if you don't know. Um, raking up leaves and my family in the South, we would burn our leaves. So I just think of that around the holidays, Halloween time and stuff. So, um, I, yeah, those are the, really the smells. That and just like, obviously, pumpkins. Who doesn't think of pumpkins but I'm sure he's already gonna discuss that all right guys well um, have a happy Halloween if and thanks for having me Ben bye hello guys good afternoon hi my name is Sanja Aldi and my channel also named Sanja Aldi and in support of the collaboration with Ben Chavez channels so I am doing this video for you so I live in Bali and then basically I do I work in a travel agency and besides working as normal people I do also vlogging and all my channel is about uh, Bali what you can do in Bali 
like for example from the waterfalls restaurants sea snorkeling diving and all that and related to Halloween yes um one of my things that I'm really afraid of is ghost in reality <laughs> I'm afraid of dark because I think in the dark the ghost will come and catch you that is what the movies say also and that is what when I was a kid with my friend talking about so in my village long 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 time ago there is a belief between us the children that ghost a specific ghost called Kuntilanak which is uh, which is a ghost of a mother who passed away during giving birth she will come in the, the um, dusk yeah dusk between like six o'clock uh, to evening you know between the daytime changing into the nighttime and we believe that she will come around that time and if a rainy season not rainy season like a drizzle coming a drizzle come and then they will stand in or like like they make home in a banana tree that is what we are believe that is what I'm afraid of so even until now I'm still afraid if I see banana tree and I see drizzle <laughs> the ghost will come <laughs> see you guys please consider to take a few minutes and uh, visit some of the channels that you just saw if you happen to see one of the channels that you still not connected with they are great friends and they are great creators so it'll be great if you uh, visit them too so for me growing up halloween uh, wasn't much of a big deal i am originally from el salvador and over there we never went around the neighborhood uh, collecting candies or we didn't even get uh, dressed up for halloween it was just another day another regular day everything changed once i moved to the usa especially now with kids i think halloween is taking a it's just becoming a big deal kids like to get dressed up they like to be taken to uh, school activities church activities halloween activities and they like to do the walk around the neighborhood too often they like to help out putting the halloween decorations out and uh, planning the entire celebration so they get very involved with halloween now when it comes to a scent for halloween there is this one fragrance called halloween man which uh, i unfortunately don't have it in my collection it's uh, meant to be uh, a fall season fragrance i think it's a semi-sweet scent so because of that i'll have to go with uh, this one here burberry london it is not a scary scent it mostly reflects the the sense of of the season like there is some scent that resembles the smell of a dry leaf uh, dry wood which are smells that i i consider um are considered fall related smell this a note of cedar wood here is probably the predominant note and it's really good i happen to enjoy it so for halloween i'll have to go with the burberry london thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed uh, see what other creators have to say about halloween and i hope you consider to tune in next week again for uh, more videos and also i will appreciate if you consider to visit those channels that participate in this video that is it for me now thank you very much for watching and see you again next week bye